Hello, I am Kate, and welcome to Kate's Art Classes. In this series, we are going to be going over the seven elements of art. I am so excited to teach you these classes, and I know we'll have a lot of fun and learn some cool things and create beautiful artwork. Today, we are going over the element color. To begin, we'll need your workbook and your project paper to protect the surface you are working on. We are going to need colored pencils, acrylic paints, paint brushes, and a rag. We're going to need water, Q-tips, and then you're going to need a paper plate and a rock. Now let's push our sleeves up and let's get started. Let's take our work foot out of the way and we first need to put the base coat of white on our rock so it has time to dry for our project later. First, you need to grab your white paint and your biggest brush. Just put on and start spreading it through your entire rock, the entire front of your rock, until you are happy with how covered it is. Go back and forth one direction. It's better when you're painting to go in the same direction so the paint strokes are consistent. Back and forth, back and forth. You can cover the sides if you want. I would recommend doing so. Get all your sides, brush strokes, back and forth, consistent, same. And it's okay if you have to go in your paint again. You use as much paint as you want. Just the more paint you use and the thicker it is, the more time it will take to dry. Acrylic paint usually dries pretty fast, so that's good, but we still need to do this first just to be, just to be safe. Now let's get the last spots on our rocks. And there you go. We have a white surface. And don't forget to wash your brushes every time because you don't want to ruin your brushes. If you let the paint sit, it just ruins the brush. So get all mixed up in your water, wash it really good. And then you can dab it off on your rag that you're given. And put your paint aside and don't forget to put the lids back on so the paint doesn't dry out. Okay, now you can set your rock aside so it can dry. And then we're going to need our workbooks. Now open up to what is color. There are three biggest basic parts of color theory. There's color will hue, color schemes, and color value. And then we're just going to go through the workbook as it is. A hue is the name we give a color. The color will is organizing colors in a circle and shows the relationship between colors. Now color schemes. Primary colors. I'm sure most of you have learned this. The three primary colors are blue, red, and yellow. Primary colors can, primary colors, cannot, you cannot make a primary color, primary colors plus black and white, you can make any color. Tertiary colors, mixing one primary and one secondary color makes tertiary secondary. When naming a tertiary color, the primary color is always named first as in red, orange. Then analogous. Analogous colors are next to each other on the color wheel. So like blue or blue-violet. See like right here, they're right next to each other on the color wheel. Those are analogous colors. Then we have secondary colors. Mixing two primary colors like the ones we have here create a secondary color. So if you did yellow and blue, that would give you green, a secondary color. Then you have complementary colors. Complements are directly across from each other. Like the example here, we have blue and orange. And then value. Value is the lightness or darkness of a color. In this case, we have purple. In the very middle, that's your color and then you add black this way and white this way. That is a value of your color. Now you can turn to the next page and we're gonna do some warm-ups. So now get your colored pencils, the ones we have here, 
and we're going to fill in our color wheel. So right here has a triangle for our primary colors because we have three of them. So first, get your red, yellow, and blue. Get your red and fill in this. Keep filling in your colors. You can make them nice and just fill it in all the way. Red is one of my favorite colors. They look really pretty in a lot of art. So get the red all the way filled in. Keep going until you get all the white spots. And be careful not to go outside your lines. Make it look nice and pretty. These will help you remember the colors and anytime you have any questions, you don't remember the primary colors, you don't remember how the color wheel goes, you have these colors right here. You have this to help you out in your projects. So, now that we have the red, we can move on to our blue. Now remember to fill this one in all the way as well. Don't go outside the lines and get all your white spots. Keep going until they're all filled in. Whoops, went out a little bit, but that's okay. Just keep going. Okay, let's get the blue, all the corners. Keep going. Okay. Now for our last primary color, we're going to do yellow. I especially like yellow. Yellow is a really pretty color. Especially because it's the color of the sun. It's really fun once you realize what colors go with what. Because then you're going, yeah, that's a primary color. Okay. Keep going with the yellow. Okay, we're just about done with our primary colors. These also, yellow flowers are especially really pretty. Like sunflowers. Okay, there we go with our primary colors. You guys remember what the secondary colors are? We have orange, purple, and green. So let's get started with orange. Fill in your orange on the color wheel. And here we go. It's really nice that he, these have the initials of the color, because sometimes I even forget, and that's okay. Get all the white spots. Okay, there we go with orange. Now we're gonna do green. You guys can color these as dark or as light as you want. It's your choice. You can do what you want. As long as you get the colors filled in, you're good. we go here. We're going to get all the edges once again. Okay, we're almost, we're about done with green. And then we're going to move on to purple. This is our very last color on the color wheel. Of our primary and secondary colors. Did you guys know that in the olden days, purple was a really hard color to come by because it's such a hard color to make that mainly only royals wore it because it's such a pretty color. 
which I thought is pretty cool because I didn't know purple was such a rare color back then. We're really lucky nowadays to have so many different colors. We can have like any color on the color wheel we ever wanted. Okay. Now that we got that, there you go. There's our color wheel. Now we got our primary colors and we're gonna see what happens when you mix your primary colors together. So like we had before, we're gonna get our red, yellow, and blue. So here's our red. And let's fill in this circle with red so we can see. With this one, I would recommend doing it lighter so when they mix, you can see so they're not too dark. And that includes the parts that even overlap over here. So get that whole big circle filled in all the way. And then we will see all of our secondary colors mixed together. Get all the spots filled once again so we can look all nice. Okay, now we're gonna move on with blue. Now we can see here what blue and red makes. You can kind of see here, as you can't see very well, you can even go back over with the red and see here. In this case, the red and blue would make purple. There we go. You can see that a little bit. Now let's fill in the rest of this blue circle. Really light. And to get light colors, you just don't push as hard with your pencil. You push really light and really soft. Okay. Get all of the edges, all the white spots. Okay, there we go. Just about done with our blue. Now once we get our blue done, we can move on with our yellow. And now we can see what yellow and red makes. That makes orange. That's just another one of our secondary colors. And yellow and blue makes green. Here we go. And then fill in the rest of your circle. So you just have yellow. Okay. This paper is getting a lot more colorful than it was before. Now it's just black and white, and now it's really pretty. Multiple colors. Okay. There we go. We got our color wheel, and we got how we can see what the primary wheels, the primary colors do together. Now, we're gonna see what warm and cool colors are. Warm colors are the side of the color wheel that includes, we have red, orange, yellow, and also like brownish colors. So let's fill in with our warm colors. Warm colors are kind of like the color of the sun almost. And remember that the sun's really warm. And so that's how I remember cool colors and warm colors. Because they're just like how they feel. They're warm. They're like day colors. Like sunset colors. Fill in all your squares. You got our red and orange already. Now we're going to move on to our yellow colors. There we go. And then our last color, which is brown. Look at our brown all filled in. Brown is a really nice color because then you can do your trees. You can do all the other stuff, which is kind of hard to make with all the rest of the colors. So it's really nice. Okay. Now we got cool colors. 
Cool colors are the side of the color wheel that includes color wheel, excuse me, that include blue, green, purple, and then also light grays or really light black. So let's get started with our blue. These are like sunset, sunset colors, like nighttime colors. They're really cool. So like I said, warm colors remind me of the sun and daytime colors. These remind me of nighttime colors and water. This one kind of reminds me more of the water in it. Okay, we got our blue. Now we move on to the purple. Purple always looks really pretty. Get all the edges filled in. Really nice. Cool colors are really pretty. I always really like cool colors. There we go. Now we have our blue and our purple. Now we're moving on to our green. When I said it's like water, this must be very dirty water. Gross, yucky water. Yuck. Okay. There's our green. No, because you have black, now you need to make it really light. So that means, remember, don't push as hard with your brush, with your pencil in this case. So go really light. So it looks like it's gray. See, just like that. So you have your warm colors and your cool colors. On this side of the color wheel, those are your cool colors. And on this side, is your warm colors. Now we're going over complementary colors. Complementary colors are opposite of each other on the color wheel. They create striking contrast when used together. When mixed, they can create grays or browns. So that's how you get your grays and browns is when you mix complementary colors. So our first one, let's start with red and green. Look at that, we are Christmas colors. Red, green, and red. Okay, fill in the first box with the red. Don't forget to get all of your edges every time. Okay, now we have our green. Put that right next to each other. Go all the way down with your colors. Okay. And there we go. There we go. We got a little Christmas stripe there. Then our next colors are orange and blue. So orange and blue. Here, let's get the darker blue right here okay let's get our orange go all the way down get every little edge it can seem hard sometimes but you got it get every edge Okay, there you go, we got our orange. Now we got our blue. Just like any other color, go all the way. When you're working with any other pencil, it's good to push light because then they're easier to erase. If you push really hard, it's really hard to erase. There you go. Then we have our yellow and purple. So grab your yellow and your purple pencil. Let's get our yellow colored in all the way. The sun colors. Is there anything you guys noticed about these colors when I colored them? Well, we did over here. This side is the warm colors. This side is the cool colors. 
So if you're trying to think what complementary colors, remember the opposite. It's on the opposite side of the color wheel, but it's always going to be a warm color and a cool color together. Okay. Just about done there. There you go. There you go. Now we have a really colorful page. Now remember back here, the color wheel, the color schemes, and all the color values. We went over primary colors and secondary colors, and then how, many, how primary colors look mixed. We have our warm colors and our cool colors, then we also went over complementary colors. Now that we have done our warm-ups, close your books and set them aside. And you can get back out your rock that has the base coat of white. Now, you are going to be needing your black paint. Get the lid off. Be really careful not to make a mess with your paint. Because there's no fun cleaning up. No fun cleaning up at all. Let's put our pencils aside. Over here. Okay. Now get your smallest point brush, so it's really pointy on the end, like that. Now, what we're going to be doing is making like colorful dandelion, not dandelion, colorful dandelion. Okay, get a little bit of paint on the end and make a stem. And if you need to do this a couple times, that's okay. Just make it so you have a nice stem. Just like that. There we go. And now for the next part, we're going to make... It's going to look kind of like a black firework almost. You're going to do lines going out. Try to make them as thin as you can. Lines going out like that. You can do a short one, then a long one, short one, and a long one. Make sure to always keep some paint on your brush. Like that, that. Add a couple little extra lines in there where you want them. Like that. Okay. And you got a messy little black firework. <laughs> Remember to always brush off, wash off your brush. Okay. Wash off your rag that you were given. Remember to put the lid black on, back on. Okay. Now. You choose three colors. You choose either your warm colors or your cool colors. We have two here and two here. And then we also have these. Pink is a cool is a warm and purple is a cool. So you can either do these three, yellow, red, and pink, or you can do green, blue, and purple. And this is when your Q tips come in. You'll use these. I am going to choose warm colors. So open up your warm colors. Okay. Set that aside and open up your pink. Now all you're going to do with this, you're going to get the end of your Q-tip. You're going to barely dip in the pink. Don't cover it all the way. You just want like the end covered. And then you're going to go around, make little dots all around this. Little dots. One. So you can put this on and then it doesn't ruin your surface. See, that's why we have a surface protector. And then you can also get your yellow. Little dots with your yellow. you want to, you can make really little dots or really big dots. The little dots, you just barely push. 
get little dots. Okay, you set that color off, and then you can get your red colors. Your red color. And like I said, you can could have chose from warm or cool. So, if you were doing that, you would be working with the green, blue, and purple. So it would look a little different than what we're doing here. And you can fill it in as much as you want. Get a lot of different colors in there. If you'd like, you can go back and even get a little bit more pink, or a little bit more yellow, wherever you want it to go. This is your piece, so you get to decide how it looks like. Let's add some little pinks. Those are some really little pinks. Okay, then I'm going to go and add a little bit more yellow too. We added a couple little yellows already. Try to get the colors nicely spread out so they're like everywhere. Like that. Okay. And at the very end, you can grab your little brush again. And grab the black for this very last part. Grab this. And add like a little leaf almost. Coming off the side here. Little leaf. Like that. Two little leaves, and you're gonna to have to let this sit and dry. Look how pretty. You can even put this in like a rock garden, you can keep it on your dresser, you can keep it wherever you want. And what I like doing when I'm done with an art piece, I grab whatever color I want. You can do whatever color. Let's do pink, since that's what color we have in there. And I like putting my initials so none of my siblings take my stuff. So here's a K for Kate. Make sure your brush isn't way wet because my brush was a little wet. It's my bad. Do a K. And an R for Reynolds. And like I said, you can do that with any color you want. It's better to do it in the sides. On like your corners, like you could have done here or there. But it's better to do it in the corner. And there you go. Now make sure to pick up all your supplies when you're done. And put them back in your little box that you are given. So wash off your brushes really good. And with the Q-tips, don't wash those. You can just throw the Q-tips away. Like these three I use, just throw them away. And then remember to put your lids all back on top of your paint because you do not want your paint drying out. So let's pick it all up. Let's get all your paints picked up. Close them all and make sure they're really tight until you hear like that snap. Okay, now that we're done picking up, now you can go show mom and dad how good you did or any of your siblings. You got a really colorful flower there. Thank you for joining me today as we went over the element color. Please join me next time as we go over the element shape. Go be creative and find joy.